Well, I'm headed to work the ground. I've already laid out some fertilizer and uh, I'm gonna go work it in the ground and then uh, I'll wait a little bit longer. Kind of waiting for some of these farmers to get their beans in and then I'll be planting. So probably in the next couple weeks, I'll actually plant my beans and hopefully catch some of this spring rain. Uh, last year, man, it when summer came, it was really dry, so I would rather have, even if they're pounding on the beans, I'd rather have something there than uh, nothing, so, I mean, they'll come on, but it's just not, uh, it's not been looking good for rain for us, and anyway, working it up, getting ready, expect healthy deer. plant today. I've already put the fertilizer in, worked the ground, and uh, should be pretty simple. Just got to broadcast the seed, then lightly till it in. We just finished up putting about four acres of uh, total. There's two different plots. One's about three and a half acres, one's about a half acre of uh, real world. So uh, hopefully these beans will start shooting up. We'll start really drawing the deer in. So I'm back here. It's uh, been a few weeks and uh, we did get some rain at first and it's been a little dry really surprised that the beans are in this good a condition considering uh, the amount of rain that we've had and not only that but the browse pressure um, the deer just already pounding it uh, and turkeys are hitting it and they're loving it but as you can see uh, back behind me there's roughly about three and a half acres here and then I have a smaller plot that's about a half acre um, of the real world beans and uh, they're loving it so um, now I just gotta hope for more rain and uh, I think we'll have plenty of food here plus not only this but it also phases I don't know if I'm looking at the right thing but basically back over here this is all clover so it goes back and cuts in and does an L, but there's probably an acre and a half of clover there. So, um, and then I've got uh, back in the corner, you know, actually a couple areas, I've got some uh, supplemental feed putting out there for high protein. Um, and then this morning I went in and uh, there's a little area that I'll, I'll show you here in a minute, but uh, basically kind of making a kill plot and uh, I'm gonna do some fall stuff there, so. There's a few trails coming up through here, but it's all coming through this area. And this area here, I'm gonna put some uh, actual uh, fall planting in here and uh, it's gonna be real attractive. 
should be awesome um, just because the cover and the food and then I've got a stick and pick got a Spartan on a stick and pick and watching I put out some uh, maximizer over here and uh, I don't know if you can see it but it's right there anyway um, what I'm trying to do is just get them coming in here more frequent and then what I'll do is I'll take soil samples and uh, I'll work the ground and uh, get ready to get it set up for uh, fall planting so uh, if you look here's the let me see if I can zoom in there's the lone wolf that I was hunting out of actually when uh, Pinhead came through but there's the maximizer for now and you can kind of see it cuts over and heads over towards there's a clover plot over this direction and then a small bean plot 